this, what can this possibly mean? Well, I was thinking about that in relationship to imagery of the crucifix and the story that surrounds it. So Jung thought that the passion story was archetypal because it's a limit story like this, <laughs> this debate at Oxford. You cannot write a more tragic story. It's impossible, technically. Why? Well, because it's a story of the aggregation of everything that people are afraid of. So there was no death more painful than crucifixion. That's why the Romans invented it. It was to punish political miscreants. It was the slow agonizing death by suffocation, essentially, and, and, and dehydration and exposure. It's extraordinarily painful. Okay, so that sucks. That's pain, man. Plus, you know it's coming. That's part of the story. Plus, your best friend betrayed you into it. Plus, your people turned against you. Plus, they're led by a tyrant who doubts truth. Plus, you're a victim of the Roman Empire. Plus, you're completely innocent. Plus, everybody knows it. Plus, they, they choose a criminal to be released from this experience instead of you, even though they know he's a criminal and they know you're innocent. So, and you're young. And you've done no wrong. And all you've done is help people. So it's a limit story. Okay, so then you think, we've been looking at that limit story for 2,000 years in the image and in the story. What are we doing? Well, you're supposed to visit the stations of the cross, let's say. Okay, here's the idea. You hear the crucifixion story and you play with it. Who are you? Maybe if you're female, you're Mary. And why is that? It's the Pieta. Because you have to offer your children to the destruction of the world. That's female courage. That's the mother that doesn't hold her child back. It's like, go out to what? Eventually your death and destruction. Go out. Leave me. Be in the world. That's feminine courage, man, to let her baby go. You're a pilot. You doubt truth. But you're, you'll go along with the crowd. You're Judas because you betray your best friend. You're the mob. You're the criminal. All of that, that's you. You look on all those things that you hate and are terrified by. That's like, that's not a snake. It's like the worst of all possible snakes everywhere. That's what you're looking at. And what do you see? You see death, you see destruction, pain, terror, tyranny, frailty, betrayal. Look harder. Look harder. Look harder. What do you see? The death and resurrection. You look far enough into the abyss, you see the light. Well, that's the story. That's the connection between those stories. And this unbelievably strange thing is, is that connection exists. It's like, there's the strange story of the serpent in the desert, and we know that story is 3,000 years old, something like that. We know that. And then we know perfectly well that Christ said that he was allied, that his image was allied with that snake. That's written down. And even if you don't believe in the historical reality of Christ, someone still made that connection. And did they know 